President Bush today failed in his effort to award amnesty to millions of illegal aliens. He also won't have that guest worker program that he said was necessary for border security. As we've reported here before, this nation already has at least eight guest worker programs. No one at the White House apparently informing the president of that fact. Temporary work visas were given to more than 600,000 people last year. No one, however, in this government knows how many of those overstayed their visas. But there are estimates. For example, Senator Dianne Feinstein on the Senate floor today acknowledged the government has not exactly solved the problem. If we don't fix our visa overstay system, which is in this bill, 40% of visas overstay. Many of those don't go home. Forty percent? A GAO report shows the number could be almost 60 percent of those holding visas overstaying those visas. And the Bush administration, the Congress of the United States, they all could fix the problem. Guess what? By enforcing existing U.S. immigration law, if they were serious about it, but they obviously are not. This government might be, as well, the largest employer of illegal workers in this country. It's just another of many and mounting reasons why the Bush administration and the one before it have so little credibility on the issue of illegal immigration and border security. Christine Romans has our report. The biggest employer of people not authorized to work in this country, the government. A little noticed audit last year of so-called non-work social security numbers showed the government, retail and universities are top employers of non-citizens who are not authorized to work here. From 2001 to 2003, seven federal agencies, seven state agencies and three local governments employed thousands of people using social security cards clearly marked as non-work documents. The government has issued some seven million such cards Certain foreign nationals are eligible for them so they can get public benefits, but it is illegal for them to work. Yet the government, over three years, illegally employed more than 49,000 such cardholders. It's obvious that if they have the tools at their very disposal and they're not utilizing them to purge the illegals that they have on their own payrolls, how can they go to the private sector employers and demand that they comply with the law when the federal government is not complying with the law? About a third of those workers found in the audit were later identified to have paperwork mix-ups, but the rest had no legal basis to be employed. The audit found unauthorized work by non-citizens weakens SSN integrity and may require that the agency pay benefits to these individuals. We're concerned that because of a loop in the Social Security Protection Act of 2004 that they'll be able to go back and claim work that they performed while here illegally, which, as the report says, is going to be detrimental to the Social Security Trust Fund. The report also found, quote, non-citizens who work without DHS authorization could affect Homeland Security because they may obtain employment in sensitive areas. It's a well-documented problem. Another Social Security audit several years ago found some half a million earnings files for Social Security numbers that were not authorized to work. Some employment histories as long as 38 years. That's 38 years working illegally on a non-work card. Lou? Well, thank goodness, Christine, that uh, Congressman Steve King is uh, working on the issue and others. Uh, This is just another example of a dysfunctional, ineffective government. And this Senate, at least 46 members of the Senate, wanted to give this president more authority to screw up more programs. It's, It's unbelievable. Many folks saying that if the administration wants to prove that it wants to enforce the labor laws, they should look in their own personnel files and make sure the people who have Social Security numbers who are not allowed to work are not working for the federal government. Christine, thank you. Can you imagine what in the world it would look like with this president, this government, this administration trying to process 12 to 20 million Z visas. Uh, The nightmare is unimaginable. An unusual unusual message from Republican presidential candidate Congressman Tom Tancredo. The congressman decided to send ahead a little message to Homeland Security Chief Michael Chertoff. 
Congressman Tancredo sent a chart off ahead of lettuce to show just how much he disagrees with recent comments by the Homeland Security Secretary about the defeated immigration legislation. Secretary Chertoff suggested failure to pass the legislation would hurt the agricultural industry. Congressman Tancredo also sent Chertoff a fruit basket and a card saying, quote, much, much more where this comes from. Today's